and just quiet. Welcome back to Soda is in worth it. So today's episode, we got this cool um, right here. And basically what this is, is a graphic tablet console. And we see for the one that we got right here from this brand. Let me actually open up and show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, and see how the product is honestly protected, but let's take it out first, all right? So once you guys take it out, the product is honestly wrapped up. But once you guys take off the wrapper, inside there's another wrapper for the product. So let's take off this wrapper as well. All right, so once you guys take out the wrapper, you can see right here, we do have the brand logo. And for this product, they do call it a Neo. But let's open up the box to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So once you guys open up, first thing inside right here, they do probably got a quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set up and how to use it. So it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to use it. You can see right here. MC inside right here, they also provide guys information to teach you guys how to use all the button and the switches. And right underneath that, MC they do provide guys some safety instructions. And then right underneath that, MC there's another layer. So let's take this part out. Right underneath that, MC we do have the actual product and we do have some accessory as well. So take everything out. So start right here. So right here, they do provide guys a USB to USB C cable. And for the cable, it's nylon braided. So it's like a high quality cable. So I'm assuming for this cable, you guys can use it for recharging the product or connecting it. But last but not least, we do have the actual product here. So let's do open up. Here is basically what the product looks like. So you see we do have all different switches on here. Same thing for the side as well. So if you guys don't know how to use it, you guys can refer to the instruction manual that I showed you guys earlier. Top right here is basically where you can plug in cable to activate it or connect it onto your computer or whatever. And then here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So and see how it does have like that non-slip material on the bottom to prevent it from moving around when you guys do actually use it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. So for this product, if you guys are curious about who is more ideal for, I do feel like this product is more ideal for people who do like Photoshop or like photo editing or video editing in general. So maybe if you guys need to edit like a photo for like an art piece or something, or maybe for a video for a movie, then that is basically where one of these actually comes in handy. For me personally, I don't really do a lot of like photo editing or like video editing for like movies, but I do video editing for like the videos I'm creating for you guys right now. So for me, I don't really see myself using this too often unless if I do need to like edit photos for my like food blog or my food Instagram or something, then that is where one of these actually comes in handy. But for this product, it is compatible with many different devices or software. So it does work for like Photoshop, Lightroom, Final Cut Pro, and the list goes on. So I just tried to plug this in to test it out to show you guys an idea of what the product looks like if you guys were to use it. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so we got the product all plugged in. So in order for you guys to actually use the product, you do need to download the actual application first. So in this case, we're gonna download the Mac. So basically you wanna follow all the steps on here to actually install it for your Mac first. All right, so it's currently updating the firmware on here. So now it's connected. It tells you guys to press on any key on the device. All right, so let me see it does work. So it basically explain to you guys how to use it on here. And you do have the option to change these different settings on here if you guys do want to as well. And you can see right here, I show you guys that you do have the option to use for Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, and etc. But you basically have all these pre-setting options on here for Lightroom, Photoshop, and etc. So if I do try on Final Cut Pro, let's see what happens. So you can see how when I'm moving the actual product, it does work on here. And all I'm doing is just going like this. And it's basically moving it left and right. If I scroll up and down, that works as well. So you see the button controls on here definitely does work, but the way how to design it is more ideal for you guys to use it for like Photoshop, Lightroom, and etc. Mainly for like photo editing or like video editing for movie. In my case, I don't really need to use it because I do like smaller edits for my video, but very easy and very simple for you guys to use it. All right, welcome back guys. So now it's a quick test of product and definitely see it actually does work and actually works quite well. So like I mentioned earlier, when I do use this product, it's not really ideal for me for what I do use. But if you guys are someone who is like a creator, who does a lot of photo art or just video arts or anything in general, that require you guys to like paint certain areas or require you guys to adjust like the shape of like a circle or square or anything else for like some kind of art, then that is basically where one of these actually comes in handy. But that is basically everything that's on the pada. Now that we come boxing and testing pada, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this pada, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are a creator who does a lot of like art piece, whether it's for like photos or for videos, for movies or anything else, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. Yeah! But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.